Question number 16. Show how suspense is effectively used in ethereal prescribed text. In Lake God, there is suspense when Fibu and his head, after a long time in the land, the men wonder what it is all about and what are they carrying on the stretcher as the phone runs into the inner chamber thinking that they are bringing a corpse, highlighting tradition. The women decide to stab their husbands through the oath of silk lips and we wonder if their action will yield positive results. Quiffon abducts the phone to force him to perform the sacrifice and the reader wonders if they will succeed to force him to save the land, especially as the water in the lake is boiling. The women decide to punish Angela by refusing to sell food to her with the intention to force her husband to succumb to the men. The reader is anxious to know if she will succeed to convince her husband to perform the sacrifice. In a walk in the night, Michael kills Mr. Doty and flees the apartment. We wonder if he will be discovered and apprehended for the crime that he has committed. Willie Boy is accused of being the murderer and we are anxious to find out if Constable Rod will apprehend him and what he will do with him. Constable Rod shoots Willie Boy and allows him in the van to bleed and this raises our curiosity to find out if Willie Boy will succeed, will survive or not. In Across the Mongol, we get news that Ngwe is smart and there are many questions as to what could be the cause of Ngwe's madness. There are many speculations in the village as to what is the cause of Ngwe's madness. As some say he's suffering from dough, some say he has been bewitched, etc., etc. The first names that Ngwe calls in Alombong Shrine are Shirela, Babajoro, Mr. Abeso, and without whom these people are. We later found out that these people are directly responsible to Ngwe's madness. Some young men are informed, informed Ngwe and his friend that they have handed money to Quenti for their names to be added on the scholarship list. When Ngwe and his friend visit the Minister of Education, the reader gets anxious to find out whether their names will appear when the list will come out finally, highlighting corruption. When the second list is posted, the boys are the first people to tell Ngwe that their names are on the list. During the confrontation at Shirela's room, Monsieur Abeso threatens Ngwe, and we begin to wonder what the threat is all about. At the end, Ngwe is given a zero in two of his main subjects where he always performs well, and this provokes Ngwe's madness in Besadi.